Should you buy the Rode Wireless Pro or should you get the DJI Mic 2? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the video. So I like to shoot a lot of content, specifically vlogs, on my smartphone. Now the audio coming through is actually pretty decent for what it is, but if you're in a loud environment, it doesn't do a great job of isolating your voice. And forget about it, if there's a slight wind, your audio is just going to get destroyed. So both these mics are a great solution if you're out there filming content with your smartphone and you wanna keep things simple and just have your phone as minimal as possible, but you also wanna just clip one onto your shirt and capture really good audio, especially Especially with these wind mufflers, these are going to be amazing in the wind as well. Now, I purchased these with my own money. Neither Rode nor DJI is sponsoring this video. They did not send it to me. There are Amazon affiliate links to both these systems and a couple of other camera gear, a couple of other microphones, lenses, cameras that I use on a daily basis below. Make sure you check them out. There are affiliate links. With that being said, you're going to love this video. Let's get right into it. All right, our number one contender is going to be the Rode Wireless Pro. The first Pro of the Rode Wireless Pro is going to be the sound quality. Let's go ahead and switch it over so you can hear what it sounds like right now. All right, Rode Wireless Pro. I do have it connected right up to my lapel, right on my sport coat or blazer right now. So the first big con, first big con of the Rode Wireless Pro is the audio quality is going to be better right out of the gate no editing required. Now, when I was doing a whole bunch of research about these microphones, the Rode and the DJIs, one thing I noticed was just how good the Rode Wireless Pro sounds. Now, it doesn't sound as good as a shotgun microphone like the Sony ECM-B1. However, this does sound really good. And I'll be honest, just as a solo content creator, someone that's not really like crazy into audio, I can honestly say that if I chose the Rode Wireless Pro, I would not feel a need for anything else. I'd have my shotgun microphone for when I'm sitting close to the camera or going outside and vlogging. But if I wanted to film something 10, 15 feet away from the camera, no problem, Rode Wireless Pro, super simple. You don't need to boom anything closer. You know those big boom arms people have on their podcasting microphones. That's just a lot of cables you gotta have running up straight to your mouth. This, of course, not gonna sound as good as that. However, for wireless microphones, this one, top of the top, best audio quality that you can get in 2024. The second pro of the Rode Wireless Pro that I noticed is that you can fit the microphones, you can fit them with the windscreens on in the case. Now with the DJI, you do need to take the windscreen off. Here's the DJI windscreen. You can't just put it back in the case, so it's something extra you have to keep track of. Rode, super simple. You just take the, you know, take it out, boom, ready to go, plug it back in, there we go, no problem. Super simple, super easy. This will not slow you down. Now speaking of the case, the case is also quite a bit smaller and I did think it was a bit lighter weight, but I think they're about the same. I think the case might be a bit heavier when you have all the microphones in here, but this is gonna take up significantly less space in your bag. And I also kind of like this hard slash soft shell case as opposed to the aluminum case. This one's just big, bulky, and heavier over. Well, I don't know, they're the same, they're the same, but this one just seemed heavier just because of the way it is. It's made out of aluminum. High quality case here, but I do prefer the zippered case of the Rode Wireless Pro. So another good thing about this case is that it is all black. I do like black better than gray and that is actually the next pro of the Rode Wireless Pro is it looks much better. It is all black. Let's take a look. All black, black windscreen. How sick is that? I absolutely, for devices, black is just awesome. All right, now we're gonna move on to the cons of the Rode Wireless Pro. First one's going to be they are significantly harder to take them in and out of the case. All Rode did was put USB-C ports down there, so you literally just plug them in. Now it's not that big of a deal, but one thing I noticed with DJI is this is super easy. It's just magnet, you can just drop them in, boom, no problem. Definitely something that I noticed when I first used the Rode Wireless Pro. And the next con is going to be initially, it is much, much harder to navigate through the trans, the receiver rather, this is the receiver, right? It is much harder to navigate through this menu than it is the DJI. For some reason, I'm sure you can do a whole lot more with the roads, but there's just a lot more stuff you need. It's a lot harder to get going. All right, now the final con for me, since I bought these, remember I said I bought these wireless microphones predominantly to use when I'm filming with my phone, is there is no easy way to just connect this receiver on to the phone. What you've gotta do, you have to have a cold shoe mount, you have to use a mount like this one from Ulanzi, and you have to run a cable from here down there. Not a big deal, but now all of a sudden, you pretty much, 
You gotta carry a whole big rig like this around you. For me, this just defeats the purpose of actually using the phone. I like taking my phone out of my pocket, flipping it around, going like that, hitting record. I can talk to the camera, I hold it, I clamp it like this, I use the ultra wide lens. I like keeping things simple. The only thing, the only way that I can keep things simple like this would be to just internally record to the Rode transmitter, I got it right that time, and sync it up later on in post. So that's gonna be it for the pros and cons of the Rode system. Now let's switch over to the DJI system. All right, so the first pro has gotta be, it is so much simpler to use the DJI Mic 2. The transmitter is simpler, it's got you know, it just slides on no problem. You have tons of options. This is the transmitter right here. You could see, I mean, this is dead simple to use. It's just, you, you pull them out. It pretty much, it just it turns right on as soon as you do. It gives you a bit of a buzz to let you know it's recording. Overall, this is a lot more intuitive to use. Another big advantage is it is a whole lot easier to take these in and out of the case. These are actually magnetic mounts as it closes. These are actually magnetic mounts in here. So all you gotta do is just drop them in. They start charging, boom, you're good to go. All right, now the next pro is going to be just something that's nice to have, but overall there is a caveat to this one, but they do come with, this is the lightning connector. It comes with a lightning connector and it comes with a USB-C as in Charlie connector. So you could literally just plug them into the bottom of your iPhone or your Android, or in my case, this is the USB iPhone 15 Pro. So we can just go ahead, I'll show you actually. We can go, I'm not gonna do it, but I can plug this one directly into my phone and now it's going to record straight to the phone and the only thing is I'm gonna have a little piece, a little dock right at the end, but this is a very small dock, very intuitive, very easy. You can capture awesome audio straight to your phone. You don't have to worry about using a cable, using a tripod like you would with the Rode, and you also don't have to rely on just internally recording and then syncing them up later in post, which is not a big deal, but that is an extra step and it's only going to add to your creation process if you're like me and you're a solo content creator. But speaking of recording with your phone, when you do record internally to the DJI, it does seem to me like the volume is a little bit louder on the internally recording, on, just straight to the uh, transmitter right here or whatever you call this, transmitter, right? This is the transmitter. It does seem like the volume is a bit higher on the DJI than it is if you were just to record straight to the Rode Wireless Pro, just the transmitter, the thing that you wear on yourself. Now there are ways to raise this in post. I have figured out using the loudness filter in Final Cut Pro but it's just a bit easier. There's a little bit less clicks and something that I've experienced as a solo content creator is less clicks means more videos, means I can spend more time producing high quality content and less time in the editing room, tweaking this, turning that, doing this, doing that. I like to try to keep editing as simple as possible so I can focus on getting edits amazing and not have to worry about adjusting audio on 10 or 20 separate clips. All right, now we're gonna get on to the cons of the DJI Mic 2. Number one con is it does not look as good. This is what it looks like on my jacket if I just connect the road right underneath it. You could see the road, well, when they're reflecting, you could see the road just blends in a lot better. The road is all black. The DJI is smaller, but since the DJI has that big, or I don't know if you could hear me, since the DJI has that big DJI logo, and also they got these gray windscreens. I'm not sure they're thinking with the salt and pepper windscreens, but I'm sure at some point you're gonna be able to get the black windscreens, and you could always just put a piece of electrical tape over this, so it's gonna look very similar. It is smaller, but the road does look a lot more classic, and it just looks a lot sleeker, even though it's bigger, but that all black, is definitely a pro for the road and a negative for the DJI. All right, now something else that I've mentioned a couple times in this video is the audio quality straight out of the gate for the DJI does not sound as good as the Rode Wireless Pro. Every single video that I watch, people always comment this, and this is something that I've experienced as well. However, all you gotta do is go into Final Cut Pro and play with the loudness filter a little bit, and it pretty much sounds almost the same. Not really a big deal, but that is still a con because you do have to edit it a little bit more, whereas the road, you can just leave it alone and it's gonna sound amazing. All right, finally, the last comp the DJI is going to be, if you do wanna get two lavalier mics, you are going to be spending about 20 or $30 more than if you just went with the Rode Wireless Pro. The Rode Wireless Pro already comes with two awesome lavalier microphones. DJI just pretty much comes with this and it does come with 
a couple of windscreens and a couple of cables that fits in this one bag, which that's nice. However, their lavalier microphones are 40 bucks each. So you're looking at, if you buy two of them, that's $80 plus the 350 for this, you're at about 430. Whereas with the Rode Wireless Pro, everything is included for $400. So where does that leave you? Which one should you get? Well, I have a couple of thoughts. The DJI is way more intuitive to use. You can pretty much just take it out. It's easier to take in and out of the case. It's easier to hook up to a camera. It's dead easy to hook it up to your phone. It's just, you pick it up, you can just go. It's a lot faster of a setup with the DJI Mic 2. The Rode Wireless Pro is going to be a lot clunkier to use. However, it's going to be a lot more versatile. It's going to sound better right out of the box, right out of the gate without any editing. It's going to sound almost the same as a shotgun microphone or a podcast microphone. So if you're a professional doing this for a living, you have your own business, I think the decision's already made for you. You're going to be able to do so much more with the Rode Wireless Pro. It's just going to sound better. Your clients probably aren't going to be able to hear a lot of difference between a wired podcast microphone or the Rode Wireless Pro. So I'm still kind of torn between these two. Honestly, the only thing that keeps the DJI in first place for me would be that I bought these primarily to use with my phone. And this is definitely something that makes things simpler. You could just, again, plug this one straight into your phone and now you're pretty much good to go. This is super easy to use with DJI. The Rode, you, you can't do this with the Rode yet. However, I am a little bit concerned with if I drop it with this, this thing's going to break right off and then I'm pretty much gonna be right back to square one. So if it weren't for this piece, then I'd probably pick the Rode Wireless Pro just because I value sound quality. However, the DJI is super simple to use and I filmed a vlog about a week or two ago where I tested both of these microphones with my phone and I also tested another microphone that we'll talk about in a minute and no contest. This was the easiest hooking the DJI up to my phone and then just recording straight to that tr receiver right on the end of my phone. I keep getting them mixed up, but hooking it up right to the end of my phone. Absolutely. Hands down. That was the most convenient thing ever. I didn't have to think or worry about anything else. So for me, the DJI Mic 2 is my top pick. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. Reminder to consider subscribing if you want. It's totally free. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, night, weekend, afternoon, morning, whatever you're watching this. Thanks for watching. Bye.